Hello, how are you getting on? So a lot of people ask me, what's the most important thing to know if I'm going to visit Ireland? Nobody actually asked me that, it's just a setup for the video. But they ask, they say, should I learn the English language? Maybe I'm from another planet, should I familiarise myself with the use of garments? And yes, those are all nice to haves. But there's really only one essential thing to know if you're going to visit Ireland. And that's how to properly order a Chinese. If you don't order the right thing in the Chinese, we'll ridicule you, we'll be so cruel, we'll kick you back across the ocean on the door. So I'll give you one rule of thumb to help with this. Basically, if it's on the menu, and it's deep fried, and it's dry, and it's very, very salty. You want to buy everything that fits that description and jam it on a plate and dip it all in the same sauce. So behind me here is what I call a very small portion. This is like what you might serve to a child. Maybe they're sick, they just had an operation, get the tonsils out. They want something light. You might give them this. But generally, a typical Chinese order would be something like this. You're going to want to get yourself chips and make sure you get spicy chips as well and get chicken balls and make sure as well as them you get spicy chicken balls and get salt chili chicken and also get chicken wings and get chicken thighs and maybe some spring rolls for yourself and also uh, fried rice and you're going to want to get fried noodles as well and then once you've got the snack sorted, you're going to want to start thinking about what your main course is going to be. Once you've all the food on your plate, it should be so heavy that it's a two-man job to get it from the kitchen into the sitting room. You should really be testing the laws of physics with the amount of Chinese you have on your plate. There's the famous story here in Ireland about the Kerry woman who got an extra chicken ball in with her portion of chicken balls. And when she did all put in the plate, that extra chicken ball was enough extra weight to rip a hole straight in the space-time continuum, open the window to another universe. And every Sunday, now Sam Smith goes through that to buy his trousers. And remember, when you're eating a Chinese, it's not about filling a hunger or nourishing yourself or anything like that. It's really about seeing how much Chinese can you get into you before breathing starts confusing you. I always say a good rule of thumb on when to stop eating your Chinese is if you've gone blind, but you can still feel, Stop then, you're at the sweet spot. And nowadays they have a product called the Munchbox, where they serve it to you in a big trough so you can pot it with your friends. One of the most divisive political conversations in Ireland is whether you should pour the curry onto the shite you got in the Chinese or dip the shite you got in the Chinese into the curry. And they also sell a product called a spice bag. And this is for people who like all their food to be a bit sweaty. Anyway, follow me, I'm delicious.